Hello and welcome again to Tech It Out. Today we have another guide. This time it's on what seems to be a common problem for many people who use USB microphones. Now I've searched across the web and I've found very little information on how to solve this problem. So I thought I'd share with you the solution that I have found. First of all, to describe the problem, I've got two different microphones myself. The first one is the one I'm using at the moment, which is the Rode Podcaster which is a very good, almost studio quality microphone. The other microphone that I use is the one on my gaming headset, which is this Turtle Beach Recon 320. With both of them, I had exactly the same problem in that the input volume seemed to be very, very low. I would normally have gone to my settings here for the recording settings to cure this. Now, on an ordinary audio input microphone, you would generally go in here, click Properties, go to Levels, turn up your volume, and then you'd have another slider, which was Microphone Boost. But as you can see here, for USB microphones, that's not there. Now, the volume was very low. And indeed, when I was trying to do recordings, it was very, very difficult because people couldn't hear me very well at all. And when I was reviewing recordings I'd made, it was obvious that the recording level was very low. So how did I cure this? How did I increase the volume then? First of all, I came across a piece of open source software called Equalizer APO. Now, what this does is it adjusts the registry settings for the input of the USB microphone levels at source. You could do it, I suppose, if you went into the RegEdit and did it there, but that would be quite difficult and indeed could possibly cause many other problems. But this piece of software does it automatically for you. I'll put the links to these various items down in the description below. So I downloaded this and installed this, but it doesn't have a graphical user interface. Not one that's very good anyway. So, how do you then make the adjustments? Well, you use a second piece of software which plugs into this, which is called Peace. And again, I'll put the location of this in the description bar below. Once you've downloaded this, you take the little program that comes with it, and you insert it into the folder within Equalizer APO where it's been installed. And once it's in there, you double-click on Peace itself, and it opens up an interface for you to use the equalizer. So if I do that now, first thing you're shown is two different desktop views that you can use, a smaller version or the fuller version. If I click on the fuller version, I'll just minimize that window out of the way. So here's the full version then. You can choose your device. So I'll go down to the Rode Podcaster. And then you can set your level. I wouldn't worry too much about this on this side. This is more for output than for input. So ignore that there. Now I'll show you the difference that it makes. If I count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see the difference in the volume is dramatic. And once it's set, you don't have to keep this program open at all. You just close it and it stays where it's set. And you can do this for any microphones you have, your webcam microphone, a desktop microphone, your headset microphone, a Bluetooth microphone, and so on. So if you're using a, a program like Audacity, for instance, another piece of free software, which I highly recommend, you can make the recording. And if I open Peace again, Put that there, and click Audacity over there. What we do now then, is we can actually, on the fly, change the recording levels as I just showed you. And as I take it down, you can see more silence and then as I take it up you go right to way over modulated
I'll put these two pieces of software, as I said, in the links below in the description section. Definitely works with Windows 7, 8, 8, 1, and I'm using Windows 10 here, and it works well here as well. This is also open source software, so it's free of any malware, spyware, adware, anything like that. It's checked by the open source community, so it's perfectly safe to use. Well, I hope this has been useful to you and that the software is going to be as useful to you as it has been for me. Thank you for watching.